I want to turn this power tool into a mini bike. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work with highs. I just love it when a plan comes together. And lows. It's the look of the feet. I'm not sure if I can build this mini bike. But one thing is certain. Ooh. It's gonna be a fun journey. Oh. Well, we might get hurt along the way, but we'll also meet new people. <laughs> yeah. And we'll even make some friends. <laughs> oh, nay! Our journey begins on the Lidl website, and you have to imagine the price is 20 euros because it was on sale. I already have this charger and two batteries. And that got me thinking, can I use this to build a vehicle? And it turns out these things don't have thermal protection built in. They only send out like, oh, I'm getting too hot, stop using me. And it's up to the tool to actually stop using it. And there's a certain protocol which they use to communicate. So I figured if I buy a tool, I have all the protection already built in that's lacking from the battery. This tool was actually ridiculously cheap. It was 20 euros in a discount. It wasn't even their cheapest power drill our cordless drill driver. It has speed control built in the motor. It has the battery management. So the challenge here is, can I make a vehicle out of this 20 euro cordless drill driver? All right, let's pick up some parts. I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit scared to continue because I have no idea if I am able to do it. I'm not sure if I can build this mini bike out of this stuff that I just bought. Wheels, clamps, power tool, a battery, and some of these rods. To be honest, I don't know. I don't don't know if I can do this. After some procrastinating, I drew up the most simple Mickey Mouse mini bike. And I forced myself to come up with a complete design, albeit very imperfect. And time after time I learned that just getting started is half of the effort. Because now I only need to make improvements. And improvements are gradual steps that I can take. Which is a lot more manageable than make an entire mini bike. So I've powered through and actually finished the first CAD design, so I'm actually 3D printing it straight away. I'm starting with the backside of the mini bike. Nuts should be able to fit inside the print. However, I made a mistake. Let's try it again. Gaat goed, er viel wat om. Nee, thanks mee. Bearing all of my weight right now. That's nice. Although I look like an idiot. I'm making a clamp for the power tool. And because I'm using a 3D scan, I can make the clamp fit like a glove. I learned this technique when I was making a popcorn bucket out of my own face. Check that video out by clicking the link in the top of the screen. We clean up the result of the 3D scan in Blender. After importing the model into FreeCAD, we can cut it out of a block and split the block in two halves. Unfortunately, the scaling of the 3D scanning app that I used isn't entirely correct, so the block doesn't fit. Therefore, I'm measuring a reference point in the 3D file and in real life. And then I can scale the parts correctly. Oh! Oh, holy f***ing sh Look at this. It's just a perfect fit. That's the most satisfying thing I've seen today. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hmm. Just barely we're scraping that screw right there. So I can make the screw shorter or... Yeah, we'll see what happens. I should have put bolts in here or uh, nuts. So I have a little hole in here where that, that needs to go. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it works. And then this goes here. Close it. 
Oh no. <laughs> People in hardware stores are dicks. They put this in the bin with the other ones that are just slightly longer. So this one is slightly not long enough. Thanks assholes. Okay, that's some nice progress right there. <laughs> To fix the problem where the bolts are hitting the clamp ring, I'm 3D printing some rings. This side. It's fixed. I'm looking for an off-the-shelf product to connect the power tool to the gear. But I'm not really satisfied with anything that I could find or make. I'm just gonna go with a bolt screwed into the power tool. No, of course I didn't make this hole too small on accident. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, but if you suddenly stop, that's that's terror. Whoa! Uh, oh Lord. Kijk. <laughs> dat remmen, daar maak ik me nog een beetje zorgen over. Dan krijg je echt een ziekte knal die tandwielen. Hè? Mijn voorspelling is dat dat niet goed afloopt. Dat mm -hmm. dat ding gewoon <laughs> kapot gaat. Dan moet je maar gewoon heel langzaam zeg maar gaan. Maar het is, het is haast niet te doen. Nee. Ja, ik denk dat er iets gaat breken in dat geval. Ik hoop niet dat het jouw benen zijn. <lacht> ja, ik vind dat niet zo leuk hieraan eigenlijk. Dat ik zeg maar al weet dat het niet helemaal mooi wordt. Ja, het is gewoon één ritje en het is heel veel werk voor één ritje. Ja. This is really bothering me. I don't want to break the internal gears of the power drill. And then a maker friend of mine told me a one-way bearing will solve all my problems. He sent me this design, which you just saw me assemble, and it seemed good enough, so I built this into my gears. We have a package. Da -da -da. It's the seat for our mini bike. Looks cool, right? Oh, look. Ball bearings for our one way homemade bearing. The way this works is that you have these small cavities here, and then you have these cavities here. And once you have this pole roll to the outside, it will get stuck and carry the outside rim, so the gear part, along with it. So one way, and the other way is pretty awesome. This is not gonna work, I need some space here because look, I, there, there is a position where I can rotate this in the wrong direction and it's not gripping. It needs to be pushed a little bit more in that direction. No way it will fill now. All right, let's install this again. This is my life now, just reinstalling this every day. This part is already pretty f***ed up, so I'm not sure how many times we can keep doing this, but we'll see, it's not completely broken into pieces yet. And, wow, that perfectly works. Now on to the front fork. Well, I started this 3D print, but I forgot to add a pass for half of the nuts that go on the inside of this assembly. So this will not work, so I have to cancel it and I will have to re-slice it. Well, looking at the cat design again, it turns out that on the top I don't need to add nuts on this side, only on the back side. So I should have just let it finish because it was doing perfectly. So I will just restart the print. It's time to put in the nuts. Ah, I love this machine. <laughs> I think assembling stuff is the most fun of the whole project. It's like uh, Hannibal says in the 80s. I just love it when a plan comes together. And basically this is when a plan comes together and when you're assembling stuff. Three, let's go. Like this. 12.6. 12.6. Yeah. So there is our front wheel. So let's get a feeling for the scale of this one. This is heavy. It is very small indeed. This will probably be kind of a shit show, but it will be a funny shit show. So that's nice for you. The hole for the nut is just ever so slightly too small. 
obviously this is not how I designed it. For this mini bike, there's a huge part that we need. The part that contains the saddle and is basically the largest part of the frame. There's one, two and three parts to this print. These need to be really strong. I just want to clear out some filaments that I still have. I put in this spool with very little filament left. And after that, I want to finish up this one. There's also not too much filament on this one. So I have pizza on the way and <laughs> I want this thing to hurry up and run out of filament so I can put in a less spool and then eat my pizza. I'm just going to put it on ludicrous mode and see if it runs out quickly enough. And as filaments ran out, please insert a new filament. Wow, check out this awesome part. I think this must have been the biggest part that I've ever printed. I was able to use a few spools of filament. So gray, white, and then a different tint of white. Okay, the second part is ready. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is perfect. Oh! <laughs> That's so sweet. Now I'm wondering, will the saddle fit on here? If I really squish it down on here, these pointy parts of the model will actually destroy the fabric. Here you can see already, it's, it's kind of punctured. We'll worry about it later. It looks all Christmassy, doesn't it? Oh, so sweet. And there it is, our spaceship. I like where this is going. We're getting close and that's really nice because this has been such a long project and I'm gaining more confidence that this will somehow work, which is nice because I'm feeling really insecure about my mechanical skills, like my ability to even get a minute of uh, working right time out of this thing. So it would be really fun if this would work in the end. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, PCBWay. As usual, you can go to PCBWay.com and order PCBs or have them CNC or 3D print stuff for you. However, right now you can also participate in their design contest. There's a lot of great prizes to win and it's also fun to watch the other submissions. Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. There it is, our steering block. And now to measure how long the rod should be that we are going to cut plus this 127 yeah that makes sense okay let's go to the hardware store buy some more stuff and saw it up and yet another trip to the hornbach hopefully for our final parts click the link at the top of the screen for my makerspace tour video can't really find the deburring tool, so I'll just leave the inside a bit rough. Okay, it's down to the most fun part of this whole build, and that's the main assembly. Oh, I'm really stoked to be doing this. This is our steering piece, and I made these openings a little bit too small, so we're gonna have to also whack this in. Looks a bit like a giant dick, but that's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with giant dicks. Um. <sighs> These parts together. Oh, oh, now we can steer. <laughs> Our steering rod. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we can put this here. So crazy, we're just assembling a little vehicle here. I mean, this is the first vehicle that I have ever built. Two minutes ago, this was just a bunch of 3D printed crap. And now we, we're starting to see like a little vehicle. It's gonna be a crappy vehicle, but still it is a vehicle. I mean, look at it. We're getting somewhere now. I have no idea how I'm going to actually connect this rod to the steering accessories, but maybe I'll just use some hot glue or we'll have to figure it out. So the mini bike isn't entirely ready, but it is ready enough for a test. I mean, I can just reach with my hand to the throttle of the power tool. And I've been building on this project for so long that I just want to have some results. I just want to try it. I'm going to go outside and try to ride this thing. Yeah, you can also open it with a You can uh, with a hand. <laughs> well, yeah, that sat not fast. Had you that filmed? Yeah. <laughs> 
Ja, ik ging ervan uit dat je altijd zo kracht hebt. Dus dat dat toch wel blijft zitten. Maar ja, als je hem dan met de hand gaat optillen, dan uh, gaat dat natuurlijk niet op. Oké, okay, dus noot zelf niet hier optillen, maar eventjes die vooras ook vasthouden. <lacht> ik weet niet hoor. <lacht> ja, als ik een zetje geef. Ja, hij heeft niet genoeg grip. Hij slipt er overheen. Zie je dat? Misschien als ik al een beetje vaart heb. <lacht> maar wat, wat draait hij nu dan? Oh, hij draait gewoon over die... Ik heb die bouten niet zes kanten gemaakt. Daar slipt hij nu ook, ook nog overheen. Kut, dat is dan weer lekker bedacht. Die vooras die wil heel erg wiebelen, zeg maar, naar voren en achter. Ah, ja. En die lagering is ook vreselijk. <lacht> Raakt ook aan alle kanten, heel. Nee, je zakt er waarschijnlijk zo doorheen. Kun je hem ook duwen? <lacht> Oké. <Okay. lacht> oh, oh, oh. Nou, dit is niet echt een succes. Een paar maatjes maar. Het idee is dat je met een accuboor erop uh, rond kan rijden. Ja, ja. Ik denk dat uh, je gewicht te veel is voor zo'n ja. rijtje. Maar die bandjes die zijn ook wel heel slap. Hij wil ook bijna niet rollen. Te veel weerstand. Ja. ja nou wel. Jens Maker Adventures. <laughs> ja, ja of zie je het? Het is niet helemaal wat we hoopten. Nee. Helaas. Nou, terug naar de tekentafel. Ja. Yes, we will go back to the drawing board in part 2. Part 2 comes out in two weeks, so subscribe now to not miss it. Patreon and YouTube channel members can watch the episode right now. If you want to support the channel and watch part 2 straight away, head on over to Patreon or the membership section here on YouTube and subscribe now. See you in part 2!